Oh, Lisa, I so enjoyed it. I watched it last you night. You did? Yeah, it was, there were tears, of course, because just the whole aspect of their meeting or are they, what's going to happen, and knowing that you've been through this. Yeah, and Christopher is an amazing person. Once you see the show, you, you empathize with him, you love him, you want to see this journey, you know, come to an end in the way that he wants it to, and you never know. You yeah. never know what's going to happen. He wants his mom to be okay because yeah. she had so many struggles. Well, and she, he hadn't seen her since she, he was six years old. Imagine knowing your biological family, and then at six years old, you go to the grocery store, and all of a sudden, she's gone. Gone. Parents always say, oh, I'll, be I'll be back, I'll be back. back. Oh, don't worry, she I'll be never back. came back. And a, a child's arrested, biggest yeah. fear is they won't be back. Yeah. You know, a child left alone in a store for just a moment can panic. Do you run across people who don't do the beautiful thing and say, I just want you to know it's okay, I understand. Do you run across people who say, I still hate you? You do. You do. Um, you won't see it on the show. No. Uh, <laughs> it's a feel-good show. We edit. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, no, you do. I mean, obviously, I've been through this myself. Yes. I mean, there are some people who are angry. You know, in this case, Christopher said to, his, his, uh, he said to us, he said, I just want to say I'm sorry. And I said, you're sorry. Why, why are you sorry? Uh, She's the one that left you. Yeah. Um, there is some sort of there's some sort of guilt and pain that you have as that adoptee. Did he as feel it was left. his fault? Did he? He was wondering. He was six years old. Did he do something wrong? Did he want too many toys? Did he play the wrong way? Did he know growing up that there had been drugs and that she had been? A, did he have any idea? He had an idea, right? But it was a little cloudy, obviously. How do you feel about the idea of totally open adoption files? I like it. Okay. I like it. And some people don't, as yeah. you know. Yeah. No, I mean. Totally open. It, it depends on the two parties. You know, I, my daughter is adopted, and we have a very open relationship. And the reason I chose to do that to further it, to mm -hmm. pay so, it forward, so to speak. Has she or will she meet her if, birth mother when she's ready? If they're ready. But I have all the information for her. She never has to wonder, have these questions that everybody has. And will you want? I had. Will you want a bonding to happen when that happens? Oh, sure. I fell in love with my daughter's biological mother. I mean, mm -hmm. we are close. We. I mean. It, oh, so so that so you, that's all set up for when it happens. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's not the trauma of everybody involving everybody. No, no. You will no. be the adults in this. Yes, yes. We'll try to be. Okay. We'll see when that time comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Enough, enough of that. First of all, I want to go back to the days. There was a, a time on the show where there were 43 people named Lisa. Yeah. You yes. and I. Right? All, yeah. And all the producers. All it the producers. Was very, were like very producers. confusing back then. Uh, but you stood up. I should tell you that. What, what's with you? What bring us up to date? Well, uh, I'm still Lisa. Um, <laughs> uh, my husband, John Cryer, just finished his show, and I shaved his head. Um, so this is not how he looks no, right now. No, oh, he does not look like that now. Picture, I wish we could yeah. show the picture. Can we show the picture? You can show the picture. Uh, yeah, but we'll this is, yeah, this would be an exclusive. I shaved his head. We are starting, we're producing. I'm a little independent producer now. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Television and yeah. maybe stage. We did a stage show. Um, what else? I have a kid. I have a five and a half year old kid that makes me feel wonderful and old at the same time. Yeah. And um, don't if, don't look at me and say that. <laughs> Do you know that you always made me feel wonderful and yeah, old and old. <laughs> Steve says that your husband's always his favorite. Like, yeah. how do you lead it up whenever he comes on? Since he was in his... Oh, look, there it his is, pit bull. Yeah. Look, I married oh, a pit bull. Married pit yeah. bull. Wow, look at him, though. Look at... Sexy, huh? He could star in Prison Break. I love that. <laughs> well, look at that. Sexy that, time. That show is over, Steve. Steve. Oh. That show is gone. Not in her mind. <laughs> Not in my mind. <laughs> Wentworth Miller is still here with me yeah. someplace. Yes. There you oh, go. By the way, for, uh, let's interview you about your husband. Great, okay. sure. So enough about your two show. Tell us about John. He did two TLC yeah. Yeah. Sunday yeah, at ten o'clock. Forget about that. Your husband. Uh, this show is over. It's it's been his life to an half yeah. minute. How yeah. is he dealing with the the sudden time? He has time. Depression. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bulimia. Is he drinking a lot? Uh, yeah. No pills. 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 Okay, good. Uh, no, he's okay. He's actually good. He's busier. He's just as busy. He's, what about he just... all the campaigns to get him to go back and do a, a repeat or a new show? No, no, that would be the same show. Yes. Um, he's uh, he's actually taken a little time, and then he's got a book out. He mm -hmm. wrote a book for goodness' sake, Ducky. And I'm planning his 50th birthday party. Whoa, well, well, um, he's gonna be 50. Well, Ducky's gonna be 50. I don't want to hear that. Steve's gonna be 52. 43. <laughs> when did he become my age? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. How did that happen? So strange how that happens. The, what I've done to him through the years, I know we got to go, is I love the guy so much that, that Me too. Uh, ever since he was, I don't know, 19 years old, I would introduce him on shows and say the same thing each time. 
Our next guest, the single best talk show guest, the funniest man who ever lived, and bring him out. And right, away, he's hating me. <laughs> like, There's no pressure. And every time you have him on, you talk about me. And when yes. you have me on, you talk about him. This is how so I weird. do it. Yes, yeah. this is how I do it. Okay. This is why he's been here so long. Have him come yeah. in because I want to find out about you. Okay, great. Great. Lisa. We'll do it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>